Hello everyone, I'm sure you know what this camera angle means. Yep, it's what I got for Christmas 2016 edition. And I didn't make it right away because I was kind of setting up something named, well actually two somethings, the last two things that I'll be showing you here in this video. But for now, let's just get on with it because I took long enough to make this video as it is. <laughs> A box? Of socks! Yes. <laughs> I had to do that rhyme. The usual Axe Body Wash slash deodorant type gift set thingajigger. And to finish off the miscellaneous section, I guess you could call it, is a $25 Amazon gift card, which is pretty much as good as cash because I love Amazon and I shop there all the time. <laughs> Now for the games, and these are the only four games I put on the list because it was kind of a dry spell of sorts. Dimensium 2 for the Nintendo DS. You probably might not have even heard about this one, really. It's kind of a cult classic game, well, along with the original over here, which I've also got as well. The original had a lot of respawning enemy problems, but it was... Much, much longer than its sequel here, but the sequel is definitely more polished, but I think the sequel is only probably about like six hours long, as I feel like I'm on the final boss already, and I very well might be. But, uh, yeah, um, I, th they both have flaws, but they are very interesting, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just put it that way. But basically, there is survival horror type games for Nintendo DS, which you wouldn't think would really fit, you know, being scared on a tiny little bitty screen. But, you know, it, it, they do a pretty good job of building the atmosphere, and it's got some rather disturbing critters and events that occur along the way. And, well, you'd have to see them and play them to really get an idea of it, because as I always say, I'm not really going to spoil things, but... Yeah, this is the one I got, but this is the one that I've had for quite a while. And this one, got it kind of got me into getting this one because, well, you know, I like the original. So, yes, you get what I'm saying. <laughs> Fragile Dreams, Farewell Ruins of the Moon is up next here. And this is probably another one that you probably have not heard of because, well, it's one of those sorts of games that got... A lot of attention in the media when it happened, but when it actually came out, it got rather mixed reviews and then kind of fell off the planet. <laughs> but I decided to pick it up and because it just seemed like something that I might enjoy for it, like its unique experience and whatnot. It's like sort of a horror game in a way, but yet it's more emotional-ish than horror or anything like that, I guess you could say. it. It's got some action, it's got like a RPG level up system, which doesn't really matter all that much because it's action base. Um, there's a lot of spooky things that go on along the way. Uh, the combat in itself is rather shallow, which is probably the game's biggest flaw because you've only got one button to attack with, uh, nothing to guard with, and it's just basically about picking the right opportunity to attack your foes. Uh, but it, it gets, I don't know, it's it's repetitive-ish, but at the same time, the, the stuff that occurs, as well as the exploration, is really good. So, I can see why it got mixed reviews, because it's not going to be something for everyone. But I'll continue on it, because I'm not, not finished with it or anything like that. Uh, but yeah, it's just something different that I thought it would try. Yoshi's New Island for the Nintendo 3DS and there's not really much to say about a Yoshi's Island game. If you've seen my walkthrough of Yoshi's Island, it plays pretty much like that, though I think the controls have been tweaked a little bit, and there's a couple of extra elements like the, the giant eggs and some new transformations and stuff like that. But, you know, it's a side-scroller slash, slash exploration game, you know, if you're going for 100%. And that's basically what I was aiming for with this one as, you know, it's just my kind of game. Game. Uh, initially, when I seen like trailers and stuff of it, I wasn't all that impressed by it, but I don't know, I just been kind of in the mood for some more Yoshi's Island lately, so I slapped it on the list, especially since it's a uh, Nintendo Selects there, as you can see there, so you know, it's a lot cheaper than it was when it first came out and stuff like that. The last game is Resident Evil Revelations for the 3DS, which I have not played at all yet, but from what I've seen, it does look like a pretty good Resident Evil on the go, so I look forward to playing whenever I get over to playing it. <laughs>
Okay, now for the big ones that I was not expecting but my mom got an idea for. Now for the last two that I was talking about near the start. Yeah, one of them is an Acer Basic Essentials Aspire ES15 laptop type notebook type thingy. And yeah, the idea was that I could, you know, just go in my room and reply to people while my family is on the other PC or whatnot. You know, basically so that there uh, was two PCs going on at the same time, so, you know, no one would be able to, I, I should say, no one would interrupt each other, because, you know, it's, it takes a bunch of time to do YouTube stuff and whatnot, and, you know, they'd say sometimes when I go and check their stuff, we gotta switch, and you probably get that after you're sharing a PC, but, so, since this is in my room, what could I use... To get internet off it. Well, that's part two of this. Yeah, Linksys AC1900 Wi-Fi router. So, you're probably like, oh, you have Wi-Fi now? And I'm like, yes, I do. <laughs> well, sorta. I mean, our internet is still our internet, and our internet's only like 1.2 Mbps or something like that, the last I checked. So, you know, it's not really something that's super good for gaming online or anything like that, but it might might be a possibility. Uh, but as, as I said, her main idea was, you know, to use this for replying and stuff like that on YouTube and whatever while, you know, through this, and then they can use the other one downstairs. But, of course, you know, with Wi-Fi, I thought... I'll connect my game systems to it as well and see how that goes, which also, you know, took some configuration time. And basically, both of these things took a bunch of time to set up. So, yeah, <laughs> because, you know, it's PC stuff, and PC stuff is always finicky. You've got to get things updated. And once you do that, then whatever stuff you want to connect to it, you've got to sync with it. And so, yeah, that, that's what's been taking me this whole time. And I think I've got the great majority of all of it set up. And here, I'll show you. Oh, my RC, a slot machine. <laughs> okay. Oh, gotta get the three in a row. Oh, shoot. No. <laughs> oh. Oh, I loaded too fast. So yeah, look at that. My Wii U is actually online. I can't believe it. But I did find something rather odd here. Uh, let me just show you. I'm just gonna do that and search for something. Yeah, I don't. I don't know why this would be on the eShop. Look, look at look at this. Ten dollars for N64 Majora's Mask. Are you? Kidding me? You would have to pay me to play that one! Oh, well, I guess I can't show my Nintendo eShop thingy on the 3DS now, but, but I could show you, at least to show for the sake of showing, that I got the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon 3DS theme. I got a couple of freebie games here. This one is actually kind of a diabolical one because you can't really finish it seemingly without, yeah, uh, paying stuff and let's just, yeah, put it that way. <laughs> but yeah, as you can tell, that's it currently in there too, but, and yeah, I even got a couple of demos going on here and whatnot, so yeah, I've been downloading, though I did not unpackage these two, and after this one, I kind of fear that these two are going to be, well, more sneaky pays. <laughs> As for the laptop itself, well, I don't have a screen recorder or anything on it yet. As I said, it's still setting things up, and I don't even know if a screen recorder will even work on the said specs, but that's not the point, as I said. <laughs> the point is, we have internet! Woo! Woo! I don't even know if you could see the mouse pointer moving! Woo! <laughs> and also, I was able to get my dance pad working, you know, the DDR game ion pad, uh, on this thing, so that, of course, means open in the groove will be, or I should say it has been installed along with the legendary in the groove rebirth song pack, so I've been playing through those bad boys, <laughs> so that's been extremely fun. Uh, I guess I'll show you what I've got thus far. Um, I, I can even connect it over to my, uh, 
uh, BenQ RL2755HM monitor and put it in full screen and stuff like that and whatnot to uh, kind of play off of that rather than the lappy here, but well, yes, that's <laughs> just an alternate thing that I can do. All right, let's see what I've got here. All the way on expert, of course. That's basically what I've been working on here. You know, it's yeah, it's a pretty legendary song pack, I must say. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever heard of this one before, but if you can get it somewhere, definitely pick it up. This one, holy poopers. I did pass it on hard, though. <laughs> yeah, 14 on In the Groove, that is something. Did not pass the 12 there, but yeah, there's... Whole bunch of stuff I should probably go through here a little bit, a little bit quicker here. I got got through epileptic crisis. Uh, not quite this one yet. I came within five seconds of passing it though, so it's close. But of course, I did beat the hard one. <laughs> this one I was kind of surprised at passing, given the sheer amount of steps on it. But details and ooh, this one's one big endurance test. Let's move on. <laughs> Yeah, I wish I had a screen recorder, that would make things a lot easier, but yeah, July's not passed just yet. It's it's a work in progress, though. Hopefully I'll be able to get all these stinkers. I really surprised myself with this one as well, because that's another super endurance test, though not as, not as high as the other one that I mentioned, but whatever, whatever. I should say other ones. And by the way, you'll notice that said event over here. That's because I was playing it in, event, in event mode, but I kind of prefer having the PKs on there. So I kind of, yeah, I switched back off of event mode just so I could put my put initials on there. I don't know, just kind of, kind of the way that I felt. <laughs> but yeah, this, and, and I'm sure I'm gonna get more song packs as well, because yeah, it's this is kind of this is kind of my crack lately. <laughs> So, it is a oh, reef. I haven't. This one is the only eleven that I haven't been able to pass on the pack yet. It's got a really tricky roll section combined with crossovers, and it just keeps getting me. But it's not that tiring overall. So yeah, and, and the thirteen is out of my league at the moment too. <laughs> but uh, I did pass uh, three twelves in this. Not to sail away just yet, but you know, he's got the one difficulty below it. I can always pass anything 9 or 10, but anything higher than that is kind of dicey depending on my tiredness or whatever in the current day and whatnot. So yeah, just think, this is just one song pack. There's still other stuff that I could get, like the Mongyo dance stuff and whatnot, which has like a good 900 songs in it and whatnot. <laughs> So, yeah, I've been having a pretty good amount of fun with this, and ooh, this one's really tiring, even though there isn't a lot of notes on it. But I did pass the 9 chart, so <laughs> you know how it goes. And just keep on going, just keep on going, and that's all. But yeah, you can I can, I can, I can actually play this with my dance pad, but again, as I said, I don't really have the thing set up with a screen recorder or anything like that, so this would be the only way you'd be able to see the screen that I have to have another camera for my feet, so yeah, that's kinda out. <laughs> but I just wanted to show you that, hey, I've actually got this sucker going in different ways that I wasn't even expecting I'd be able to get it to go, because, yeah, I didn't, because, remember I said my dance pad was incompatible with, uh, uh, the Windows 7 PC downstairs, well, it's compatible with the Windows 10 lappy up here, I don't understand that. <laughs> Ah, I ran out of time on the camera, but anyway, that's all I got for Christmas anyway. So with that, I'm going to end off the video here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you later.